So dry disease encompasses a whole bunch of problems on, on the surface of the eye. Uh, the point of it is that so many people are affected by dry disease and it's not a small um, problem, it's a very big problem. The most common reason for dry disease today is um, related to the meibomian glands, which are the oil glands in the eyelid. But there are hundreds of glands in the eyelid that can affect tears and dry disease encompasses all of those. There are sort of big categories of therapies. There's the category of lubricants, and that's really important because there are good ones out there and there are poor ones out there. There are other things such as um, treating the lid glands themselves. There are preservation therapies that keep the tears around longer. There are protective therapies like goggles and contact lenses that might cover the eye and protect it. Um, the big category is anti-inflammatory treatments, and there's a whole slew of things from steroids to uh, other long-term dry. IPL is a very exciting form of therapy that we have now for dry disease. Because most of the dry disease we are seeing is related to the meibomian gland, so the oil component of the tears, uh, you know, comprises about 85% of the dry disease we're seeing. So IPL is the application of a, a range of light to the uh, skin around the eyelid that, that allows the meibomian glands to, um, to change in their function. So it allows more oil, which allows that oil slick over top of our tear film to be improved. Uh, candidates for IPL are anyone that has meibomian gland disease, pretty much. Amniotic membrane therapy is an exciting therapy that we use in our more severe cases. So where other treatments um, that we've talked about before in all those categories, lubricants, anti-inflammatories, all those other things are for the general dry disease. Amniotic membrane tends to be used for specialty situations. Amniotic membrane is applied to the eye and the various and many growth factors that are there allow the eye to heal underneath the membrane. The membrane dissolves on its own, but a contact lens has been placed over top of it to keep it there. We call it a bandage contact lens. And that bandage lens holds that membrane in place for a number of days, it's a different number of days depending on the condition, and then we remove it and see what the healing uh, looks like. And oftentimes we see continued healing for many, many days after the membrane's removed, and this is a way to treat eyes that would have had to either endure long-term problems or would have to be treated with serious uh, treatments like something called tarsorophy where you have to actually sew the eyelid shut to allow the eye to heal.